this is Stampy, and welcome back to the Negative Challenge. In today's episode, we are going to be diving deeper into the, the Never. I've done a bit of exploring around the, the Never, but basically all in the, the same area. And I haven't really had much luck with the, the Never Fortresses, so I'm going to go and try and hunt her to find a, a new one. So in the last episode, I was able to, to make a bunch of fire resistance potions, which is going to make traveling around the, the Never infinitely easier uh, than it has been in the, the past. So I am looking forward to, to that. I am looking forward to being set on fire less than I have been up until now. So let's go and grab these uh, at hand and let's go. Let's waste uh, zero time. I'm going to also just get some blocks at hand as well. Always a, a good thing to, to have whenever you're going anywhere dangerous. And let's see uh, where else we can explore. So these last eight minutes each, I've got three on me now. I've also got another three at home in case I'm going to, to need them. But this should be a plenty of time for me to explore the, the never. So... The main thing I'm after is, well, a wither skeleton skull, or two more actually, uh, to, to be exact, and also blaze powder as well. I've got one bit of blaze powder at home, and oh no, I forgot my bow and arrow. Oh, let's just leave it. Let's just, I forgot my bow and arrow. I knew I was going to forget my bow and arrow. I was like, shall I get my bow and arrow and make it before I start? No, it's fine. I'll just make it at the beginning of the episode, and then I completely forgot. Should also probably start spreading some torches as well, because I don't know how far I'm going to, to need to, to travel, and I want to make sure I can find my way back home. And no! Isn't this there? Look! There's one right there! Oh, come on. This is a weird one as well! Why are all of the fortresses so weird? I mean, it's good that we have two right next to the portal, but why are they so odd? Oh, hello! These are one of the, the things I am going to have to properly have to, to deal with, the, the wither skeletons, because the blaze are basically like a non-factor now. They, there's not really much that they can do to, to hurt me. They're going to be fine, so it's really just the, the, the wither skeletons I'm going to need to, to deal with. And I've also just realized that my helmet's broken. Hmm, okay, I'm gonna keep going. I'm not gonna go back. Forget it, okay? I was thinking of going back just in order to, to try and get, like, the, the helmet and also to to make the, the bow and arrow, but you know what? We're here now. I will be fine. God, that sounds like such, like, famous last words, doesn't it? So this is a weird one. So this is, like, the fortress here. Then it looks like it kind of continues just going inside, like, of the, the mountain. This might make things easier, though, because a lot of the, the enemies uh, in the, the never fly around. So if there's like a, a big roof over over my head, I should be able to, to track them down a little bit easier. I am thinking maybe I should have made a regeneration potion. I thought I was going to be fine. I didn't think I was going to even like get very damaged around here, but I'm still getting pretty destroyed. It's just these guys that are hurting me. I really wish I had a bow and arrow right now. I'm just running away from him right here and then back off. And oh no, I've been withered. I've been withered. Okay, let's just commit. Let's just commit. Just commit. Did I get him? Okay. <gasps> it dropped another one. I got all. I, got, I just died. I just, I just had to be saved. How did that get me? I got fire resistance. Excuse me, sir. Blazers shouldn't be able to, to get me. I, okay, so that's my totem of undying gone. This has been such a weird trip. Why? It's like such a weird mix of being really good and really bad. You know what? Oh, no. Okay. You can't hurt me, though. You can't. I'm not, I'm not hurt by fire. Why am I? I shouldn't be scared of you. I should be okay. <laughs> oh, dude, this is weird. Right, let's go and light up the... Oh, hello. Hello, I can see you. I can see you. I can just about see you lurking in the in the brightness. Let's go and darken the, the area a little bit. It will make them spawn a little bit less, uh, but it will also uh, allow me to... um. To, to see a bit better. And you know what? Seeing as I only need one more wither skeleton skull anyway, like, this might not be too difficult. I I thought I was going to be going to the, the end before battling the, the wither. But hey, if this if this keeps going the, the way it's going, then I might be doing it the, the other way around. I really wish I had a regeneration potion, though, and probably, like, some more iron armor as well. But hey, so far, so good. Apart from losing the, the totem of undying, but that's okay. Uh, I don't need totem of, 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 of undying's, like, crazy well, just because I need to lose against all of the, the bosses. And that's as the, the other time when one would be like really really useful for me. So let's keep pushing through here and let's see if we can find any chests. We normally get a bunch of chests spawning inside of the, the Never Fortresses and I haven't found any spawning inside of here yet uh, so it'd be good to, to see if we can track down some of these. If I need to make more fire resistance potions it's going to be handy having this, uh, this magma cream as well. I should be okay on that front but hey I need to, to, to kind of get this cube out of the, the way anyway <laughs> to be able to keep going down the, the corridor and I just need to, to keep an eye out for those wither skeletons because they are doing way more damage against me than I was uh, expecting, so I need to be really, really careful of that. Also, going Enderman hunting. 
I'm having way more luck finding element, uh, Enderman in the, the the Never than I have been on the the surface. So maybe trying to, to track down more of them would be a good idea. Is that my fire resistance gone, by the way? Or oh, I'd run out. I'm lucky I noticed that. That was a <laughs> that was my fire resistance gone. So lucky I was able to to realize and have some more. Right, we've got a blaze down there. Aha! Looks like the the fortress continues in that direction. Let's go see if we can get this blaze first though, because we haven't had very much luck against these, and these should be like the easy things for for me to get. And oh, look at that weird like one single block of lava in the the wall. Let's just stay away from that. And oh, that was a blaze rod. There we go. So that will be able to to make me uh, two blaze powder, uh, which is going to be very very handy. Uh, I was able to get an arrow from that guy. I didn't even. See See this wither? They're so bright. They're so bright in the, the background here. The blaze shouldn't be much of a, of a problem, though. I should be able to, to deal with them okay. Just as long as they get a bit closer. Are you going to come any closer? No, he's going to stay there shooting fire. Right, let's just let's just ignore him then. He's not <laughs> he's not worth my trouble, uh, especially considering that I don't have a, a bow and arrow. So let's keep going down this blindingly bright hallway as we kind of darken it uh, down a little bit. And let's go into the... the oh, hello. Oh, can I get this guy? I should be able to... Oh, oh it all carries on down there. That's huge. This one's huge compared to like the other one, which was like probably the, the smallest fortress I've ever been in. This one is absolutely enormous. And aha, this is my first never warp room. I really don't need any extra never walks. I got my farm set up at home. Uh, I got a bit of gold, uh, diamond horse armor and a saddle. It's all fine. I mean, it's all fine stuff. I'm probably going to never use any of this stuff, but I guess it's <laughs> it's better than not getting anything, I guess is the, the way to, to look at it. Uh, no, hello! I could just about see them. They surprise me more. Like, when it's in the dark, like, they do sometimes surprise you, but you can normally see them. For some reason, it's harder to see them in the, the blinding light compared to, to when it's dark. And we have actually darkened the, the video a bit for you. So whenever it's, like, really, really crazy bright, just to not make it too horrible for, for you to be able to, to watch <laughs> we do darken it a little bit so for me i'm seeing it crazy bright so if you think it's bright for you now how it is imagine what it's like for me because it's like even worse for for me <laughs> like the negative challenge is meant to be like negative for me and not negative for for you so you don't need to, to suffer quite uh, as much as i need to i'm actually running out of these uh these torches i don't have any more coal on me so it's going to be uh just this uh, amount a bit more gold so the gold's good the gold's gonna allow me to to make golden apples which is going to be very helpful. All of the horse armor and stuff, like it would normally be good in a, in a well, but I just can't really imagine me riding the horse that much. The only time I can imagine me using a horse a lot is if it turns out that the, the stronghold and the, the end portal are really, really far away. I might be using like a, a horse to get back and forth between like where I am here to the, the end portal. That's the only real time I could imagine me properly using a, a horse to, to get around the other world. Otherwise, I really don't normally uh, bother about it too much. Where are all the blaze though? I want to find like an area with a blaze spawner and then I can just camp the the blaze spawner and just take out loads and loads of the the blaze that's three that's three for three <laughs> I got all of the ones that I need that is all three of my wither skeleton skulls so there's one in my pocket one on my head and one on top of my bed that is unbelievable can you believe that and remember I don't need to defeat the wither that is not the challenge that is normally what the challenge would be in something like this but it's actually the opposite I need to be defeated by the wither so I don't even need to like prepare to go and battle against it I basically just need to <laughs> just need to run at it and die is kind of what the the aim of the the game's going to to be for going up against it I cannot believe my luck it is so uncharacteristic for the uh <laughs> for the negative challenge for me to have really good luck like that seeing as my luck has generally generally been bad to awful so far throughout the, the series but hey you cannot argue with that that was absolutely incredible and the fortress keeps on going got more obsidian uh, a saddle I don't know if I'm ever going to want the obsidian. It is good getting the obsidian in a chest. Just seeing as I can't get a diamond pickaxe, I can never mine obsidian. So if I ever do fancy building out of obsidian, this is going to be my only real way to, to get it is for, from chest. So I guess that's better than nothing. It's just this blaze that they're just not dropping any um uh, any uh, uh, any blaze. And that's like the, the big thing that I was really after. And so they're still being pretty, uh, pretty stingy. But I cannot moan about the, uh, the, uh, the wither skeletons because they're just throwing stuff at me. Like I just walk past them and they're heading fall off and I can just go and cover them up. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. I mean, maybe I can get another one, then I can keep that that one above my bed. Uh, iron horse, oh, I don't even want this stuff. I don't even need that stuff. I got too much stuff in my pockets already. I don't need any more stuff. I just can't believe how big this fortress is. It just goes on forever. Have you ever seen a fortress this big? This is by far the biggest fortress I've been in. I don't know whether it's like one or two fortresses all merged together. It just doesn't seem to end, does it? Like, where am I now? 
Where did I come from? I have literally no idea. <laughs> Look at the size of this Neron. It just looks so weird, doesn't it? I assume I came from that way. Because that's the, the the way the rest of the, the fortress seems to, to be going. But this is unbelievable. Do you think I should start heading home now, though? How am I doing for my fire resistance? Okay, I got three minutes left on that one. I do need to, to keep track of that. So I think I might start heading back in that direction. I'm down to, to only one torch left as well. So it's going to start uh, being really dark because I can't spread any more of these torches around. So I'm going to start trying to, to find my way back to, to where I came from, if I can. Might be a... Uh, might be easier said than done, if I am honest, just <laughs> considering how big and crazy this place was. But yeah, on the way, hopefully I'll be able to get a little bit extra blaze. Like, surely I can get, like, at least a tiny bit. So where... Where did I come from? The problem with fortresses is they do have a tendency to all look exactly the, the same. So I know I've been going down a lot of ladders recently. So I guess, uh, not ladders, sorry, staircases. So I guess any staircases I find where I can go up is probably going to be a good idea. And hello, Blaze. I saw you hiding around behind me. You can't hurt me, but I should be able to take you. And I see you down there as well with a skeleton. Nope, that Blaze is gone. That Blaze is gone. I should have brought a bow and arrow. Why did I forget to bring a bow and arrow? So I guess if I do come back down here, and I probably am going to, to need to in the, the future... I'll have the, the fire resistance potions. I'll also bring a bow and arrow. Then also just some like regeneration potions and stuff as well would be really helpful. But why aren't they dropping anything? Let me clear my inventory just a little bit, just in case they have dropped some and I haven't picked them up. I don't think that is the, the case though. So let's get rid of um some of these stone swords that I'm not going to, to really need. I haven't picked any up and not noticed it, have I? I don't think I have. It's kind of like a blue squirrely bit is what we're, we're looking for for the, the blaze. But I don't think I've got any blue, uh, blue squirrely bits. I've just got that one single blaze rod which i'll be able to to either make into a second brewing stand or either uh, some blaze powder probably should use it to, to make some blaze powder let's see if i can find my way out of here though so i'm out of the 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 fortress i think is it over that way i need to go to hmm i didn't really mark my way particularly particularly well i know i did throw some torches down on the the way there doesn't seem to be any around here so yeah, I don't think I entered it from this area here. It's just difficult, just because of how huge this fortress is. <laughs> it's just making it harder to, to find my way around. So let's just go and try and build up to the, the top here. Excuse me, Pigman. Don't mind if I jump over your head. And let's go and jump along here, trying to be as careful as we can. And let's go and see if we can find which way I entered from. Uh, but yeah, I don't really want to go back inside the, the depths of the, the fortress if I can uh, avoid it. Because otherwise I'm going to get lost inside of that labyrinth again. So is this the direction I arrived from? God, I have zero, zero idea. There's no torches anywhere around it. I feel like if this was me, and the way I kind of go a little bit crazy with torches, I would have probably put some torches around this area somewhere. So yeah, I don't think it's this way. This doesn't seem familiar. Then again, nothing really seems familiar here, to be honest. It all just seems like a crazy, weird alien world. I don't know why it's just so much harder to, to find your way around when it's all in, like, the negative, weird, strange way. So did I come from down there? Oh, oh no, no, oh, no, no, no. Okay, I'm getting hurt, I'm getting hurt. Okay, I really want to find my way back. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, stop it, okay. So immediately you're going to stop hurting me, so I should be okay. But that is the that is the last of my fire resistance potion. So I basically got, like, a an eight-minute time limit for me to, to find my way back home, which should be plenty of time just as long as I can find my way back home. But let's see if we can get this blaze. Don't fly away. Don't fly away. Don't fly away. Yes. You drop anything? Why aren't you dropping anything? Why are you being so rubbish, Blaze? <laughs> Why is no one dropping anything for me? Where do I go from here? I am literally 100% completely lost. And I don't know what I could even do to help me find my way back. I should have been marking this better. Do you think I should go back inside of the fortress? So last time I arrived at the tiny fortress, I made like a really obvious like block of uh, of cobblestone just to, to very easily mark where I entered the, the fortress from. This time I arrive in an absolute huge labyrinth of a fortress and I don't even consider doing it. I was just too excited. I was just too excited to, to find it so quickly. I just kind of decided just to, to run straight into it and kind of skip to all of the formalities. Ah, oh, this looks good. Oh, this looks good because I came, I came through this mountainy area, didn't I? Ah, did I go down that way then? Okay. We might be on to something. This might be why I didn't recognize anything. Was it because I was on like the other side of this mountainy area? And ah. Okay, not that one, but I think I've just reminded myself of, like, a goal. So let's wander around the fortress, and then look. let's look for an area like this. This is what we're after, an area that goes through the, the mountain. This is going to make it easier for me to, to find my way out of here. 
Hopefully. So let's just look for the, the bit that goes to the opening. Ah, maybe this way? Does this open itself up? There are a lot of torches around here, so I obviously was was very rich with torches when I first came down here. Oh, this looks good. Aha! I think we found it! I think we found it! Let me go and try and mark this a bit better. What do I have to mark it better? Let's put down something. I was going to put wood down, but that's just not going to last here. Let's just do like a weird wall of cobblestone and then put like one torch in the middle. So that means that if I do come back down here, if I see a wall of cobblestone with one torch in the middle, then I'll recognize it. Like you just got to do something a bit weird, a bit bizarre, something that's just going to stand out. So a little wall with a torch in the middle should be enough. But to be fair, we are now right next to the portal. So getting getting back to, to where I was then wasn't the, the easiest thing in the, the world. Uh, but now I've uh, got my way back to, to this section here. Uh, we should be uh, easy enough getting my way back to the portal. Fingers crossed. I think it's just over this way. Yep, there we go. There's the, the column that I marked from before. And the portal should be literally just uh, around the, the corner here. And that was another pretty successful trip. Sadly, I did not get very much blaze, which was the main thing that I was after. I wasn't even properly after the, the, the wither skeleton skulls. Like, that was just like a side thing. It was like, yeah, I might as well start taking out some wither skeletons. There's a chance, I suppose, that they could drop some of the, the skulls. <laughs> I did not think I was going to get all three that quick. And there's an enderman. Are you going to top off the day? Are you going to be just the final bit of good luck to help me out today? Drop an ender pearl. Go on, you can do it. You can do it, enderman. I believe in you. I believe in you. No. Nope. Let me down. Let me down. That was like too much luck. The negative challenge gods were like, nope, Stampy's had far too much luck today in the ne negative challenge. Let's go and, and switch things around a little bit and make them all rubbish again. <laughs> anyway, let's go into my terrifying bed. We can just see uh, the, the face of a, of a skeleton skull like above there. Uh, we also have these spare ones. Let's go boop and boop. Ready to, to make our wither skeleton. Also, let me show you something. Let me show you something interesting. Let's go and grab some uh, some wheat. Let me go and show you out to my, my farm. So you may remember that I've been getting some green sheep just to add a bit more green into the, the world because there's a, a distinct lack of green inside of this world around here, you may have noticed. So these are, uh, they were purple and then uh, pink ones as well. And I've been doing a bunch of breeding. And so I've now got magenta ones as well. So you see that there's the really bright ones, the really dark ones, and then also like the, the middle green, the, the magenta one, which I think looks really nicer as well so i'm thinking of maybe like spreading like some of the floor around here with like green carpet or something just to inject a bit of green basically it's going to be like fake grass <laughs> that i'm adding in which seems ridiculous because the whole point of like this challenge is that like everything switches around and looks weird and then like adding in grass again just seems like a bizarre thing to, to do but i'm thinking of adding just a, a little bit in just to, to inject a, a little bit more of green because really all we have that is green is like that portal at the, the moment so it'd be good to, to go and start like adding in a, a bunch more stuff like that so yeah yeah, maybe that'll be something that we can do for for a bit because I think I want a bit of a break from setting my tail on fire. It's been fun going to the Never. I have enjoyed it, but I'm a, a little bit fed up of being constantly on fire. So I think what we might do in the, the next episode is we'll have a, a decoration day. So we'll try, if we can, do a bit of decoration around the outside, kind of colouring in the area. We'll get rid of the, the horrible Never Warp farm down there. But the main thing I want to do is I want to build up these walls around the, the outside of the, the farm here. I don't think I'm going to need my house to get much bigger. So I think I'll build these walls off, do a glass ceiling uh, to, to let a whole load of light in, which we can use a, a fancy color on. Try and use as cool of a, a variety of different blocks to, to build up the, the walls around here, just to, to keep things looking funky. Uh, and then, yeah, uh, we'll have a, a nice, uh, prettier house. And then maybe we could go straight into uh, going against the wither, going and losing our battle against the, the wither. Why not? We have everything that we, we need. There's nothing to, to really hold us back. We're not too close to having 30 levels seen as I, I keep dying so I'm not even too worried about that so yeah I think that's going to, to be the the plan so the final thing that I need to, to do today is to have a little look at my cake and then destroy it because that's one of the, the challenges is to, to keep destroying cakes the worst of the the challenges maybe <laughs> sadly though that is going to be the end of this episode here hopefully you enjoyed it as per always uh, there'll be a link down in the description to the the next episode if you want to see decoration day uh, also uh, there'll be the the playlist down there which has all of my uh, challenges uh, my negative challenge videos in a row in case you missed one or want to kind of keep watching through in order that is going to be the best way for you to do it but for now i want to thank you all very much for watching and i will see you all later. Bye!